Maybe you're considering leaving your job. Maybe you fantasize about quitting your job. But of course, there's this kind of fear that's in place around this. I would say this is one of the questions I get asked. Well, it comes up incredibly frequently uh, in therapy. So let's dive into this and see, well, what would it be like to quit my job? And is there a good way to do it? Is there a safe way to do it? Is there a way to do it that's not going to make me feel terrified? And it's a very interesting topic, so stay with me as we do a bit of a deep dive into this. So anyone that's going through this dilemma about, look, this is not working for me. I really want to quit my job. I want to do something else with my life. We have to realize, first of all, that you're conflicted. There is a conflict. And we have to know, first of all, well, what is this conflict between? One part probably wants, it could be emotional health. It wants a sense of freedom. It wants to go and, and have um, maybe be around more supportive people, could be anything. Go and pursue a passion in life. But this other part is saying, well, you know what, typically the other part is gonna be saying something about security needs, about safety. It's like, that's not safe. You're not ready to do that. And we tend to look at this conflict within ourselves and our problem with it isn't that there's a conflict. It's that we pick sides in that conflict. So. A person who really desperately wants to quit their job will really dislike this part of them that is reminding them constantly about the need for security. So typically we see this as the, the unhelpful one or we resent this one. Now, if we're going to do this, what we're trying to do is navigate this, whatever's going to happen for you personally, stay, leave, whatever it is. We're going to try and navigate this with as little conflict and as little fear as we possibly can. That's our goal here from the outset. Our goal isn't necessarily to quit your job or to stay in your job. We're not gonna pick sides in that. We're just gonna validate both of those sides because that's a way that we're gonna minimize conflict in this. So what we, this is really gonna involve listening to both sides of the argument without picking sides, without saying this one's right. This one's right, this one is wrong. This need for security is wrong. This is the, this is the way we bulldoze our emotions. You see, they're both very valid. This need for security or the need for um, maybe more, more passion or purpose or more support, or it could be this, this need for security. They're both completely valid. There's not a problem with either side. So no emotional bulldozing, validating both sides, both sides of that conflict. That's how we really withdraw any favoritism or stop picking sides in this thing that's creating all this conflict. We validate both sides at the same time. See them both is completely okay. So one question we can ask ourselves is, okay, we're gonna play it out. We're gonna to listen to both sides here, okay? This is not gonna be me picking a side either. A lot, of, a lot of things I've seen online are people saying, follow your passion, follow your passion, follow your passion, follow your passion, bulldozing away this need for security. Okay, and a lot of people, you know, maybe it's a little bit more, more uh, old school, but people say, stay in your job, stay in your job, stay in your job, stay in your job, picking sides. And that's not doing anything for this conflict that you're experiencing. So let's, first of all, take the perspective here of this security need. And really, maybe there's some validity to it. So first thing I would say is, well, do you really need to quit your job? Now, what I'm saying around that is, we tend to have this, let's say it's a more passion in life that you want. Does it have to necessarily be true that if you stay in your job, that you can't find a sense of passion or purpose outside of it? We, we tend to think that my job should be the thing that gives me all my sense of purpose and passion in life. And quite often that's not true, and it doesn't need to be true. Quite often it's okay to, to have a job where there's no real sense of meaning or purpose or creativity or passion in it. The job is providing security. Now, if, that's, if that means I can't, it's imposing itself in my life to the degree that I can't follow any kind of passion outside of, of my work life. There could be issues around boundaries with work. 
that we could look at. But if you're, the, 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 the idea that your job is the only way that you can find purpose, meaning, or creativity in life is not very helpful because sometimes a job is just okay for security reasons. There's nothing wrong with that. And we can find the meaning, purpose, and creativity elsewhere. And that need can be fully met elsewhere. Um, if, we, if we take that kind of dual approach that it's okay that I have this job that doesn't give me that much meaning and purpose, I'm finding it outside of this. If we're having that kind of dual approach, this thing can often take over eventually and become the thing that we want it to, that, that it is, um, we want to give more time to. So the first question is, do you really need to quit your job? And we can ask ourselves that question. And you may come to the point where you realize, well, you know, maybe I can work on my boundaries with work a little bit more and find meaning and purpose creativity outside of my job. And that's a way to resolve that issue. Now, you may come to the realization that actually my job is so overbearing in my life and it's taken my life over to such a degree. Or you may even say it's incredibly toxic for me and I can't even disengage from it psychologically at all. You may say to yourself, I actually do think I need to quit my job. If you really, really do come to terms with the fact that you need to quit your job, we, we come to acceptance of this is unsustainable for me. This is having such a negative impact on my life, this job I'm in, that, okay, it's not working and it's never going to work. So something has to change. So before you even think about quitting your job, there's going to be a stage you get to where you say, this isn't working for me, this is unsustainable. Now, I don't know when exactly, but I know something has to change. And that's a very big step and an important step if you're in that situation. It's like, okay, let me just stop trying to bulldoze through this and stop trying to be resilient all the time. It isn't working. I've tried for a long time. A lot of people will say, you know, they're so responsible that they will try to stay in a situation that is unsustainable for too long. So finding out, okay, is the, is the job taking away too much of your time? Is it too toxic, that environment? Is it making me do things that, that lead to me not liking myself? Maybe this is unsustainable for me. So an acceptance, okay, this is unsustainable. So if you're at that position, this is the, the approach I, I get people to do. There's still going to be that voice that's saying, security, security, you need to stay here, you need to stay here, there's financial problems. Again, we listen to both of them. But because you've accepted it's unsustainable and something has to change, what I want you to do is listen to both of those sides and get them to come to terms or get them to agree on, okay, it's unsustainable, how long am I going to stay in this unsustainable situation? And get them to pick a date that they can both agree on. Now, the part of you that feels like it's unsupportive or you feel it feels it's meaningless or it's, it's toxic in your life, that's going to want to say, I want to leave tomorrow. I don't want to even go into work tomorrow, maybe. But this is going to say, the security need is going to say, hold your horses there a second. That's not going to happen. Who's right and who's wrong? They're both right. Okay, there is no, you have to validate both of those. But when they come together, they may be able to say, well, look, is three months okay? And the security need might say, no, that's not enough. Is 10 years okay? Security need can't justify 10 years in a job. So you may come to terms with, uh, I'm going to give myself 18 months in this job. I may give myself six months, whatever the figure is, that they can both say, fair enough, it is unsustainable. Let's have that as the date. Now, that date you said, you have to commit to it. Now, it's not a quit date necessarily. It's a date when you can say, okay, if by this date on the calendar that I'm going to commit to now, nothing has changed and I, I still feel that this job is completely unsustainable and it is not doing me good emotionally. At that point, you will leave the job, okay? Now, the joy of having that date out there somewhere in the future, maybe six months, could be even a year away, whenever it is. It'll give you that, that part of you that needs the security it doesn't feel like it's been bulldozed away. It feels like, okay, now I can do something to prepare for that uh, outcome should it happen. And what you start to do is you start to, you start to look for alternatives. You start to feel more 
justified in having much more healthy boundaries and saying no to a few things at work because you have this sense that well look I am probably going to leave anyway unless something changes you start to become a little bit bolder in your job you start to do things like you, you speak more authentically now not negatively or, or aggressively but you start to stand up and assert yourself a little bit more you, you stop saying yes to everything impulsively you stop being that person who at 5 p.m. is looking around to see if other people are leaving before you can give yourself permission to leave the, your, the, the day, uh, your job. You do it because you want to do it. Because now you feel more open to taking risks because I'm, I'm, I've assessed that something has to change here and I feel I'm probably going to leave anyway. So now I'm going to start acting more authentically. You act more authentically, you start to take a few more healthy calculated risks in your job because you realize okay I'm leaving anyway I may as well just try a few things differently around here myself and through this period of time you're looking for alternative work you're looking for ways to be more authentic in your job you may find that your experience of the job changes anyway you start to feel less as attached to it psychologically and come that day which you had committed to you realize things have changed here and this isn't as bad as I thought it was and maybe I'm feeling more authentic in myself maybe everything's okay I can stay but that has to be a genuine assessment of yes things are very different now to when I set this time for myself initially but if they're not different and you still feel exactly the same way as you did back when you set that date for yourself really you've probably been looking for alternatives maybe you've got some jobs lined up or interviews lined up or you're feeling optimistic about it because you've been doing that work in preparation for this inevitability they feel yes the time has come I promised myself if nothing changed and it wasn't an impulsive choice that I would leave my job right it was a job that really took into calculation the need for security in my life and to take responsibility now I feel the time has come there's no point in me push, pushing through this especially if it's kind of a toxic environment that you're in there's no point in me staying here any longer now at this point. It's time for me to move forward and move on from this and just move on to the next thing. And so th those would be ways that I would say you could approach this whole idea of quitting your job. It's not going to be this reckless, impulsive, that's it, I'm gone, I'm finished, I'm out of here. Nor is it going to be this idea that I need no matter what to stay in this position, even though it's completely meaningless to me and it's not making me feel good and uh, I, I think it's a toxic environment and I feel anxiety all the time. That is not an option either. It shouldn't be an option for us. The answer is very unique to every individual. and um, But it is possible. As, at the moment you really accept the situation is unsustainable for me something has to change that's when you start to put into place these steps to transition away from that if nothing changes and if nothing does change then we, we move on so guys i hope that's useful information and i hope that um if you're in that position which many of us are you know we're we're thinking about making a change that that will be some food for thought and will maybe give you a little bit of uh hope and guidance in it that you know the way you feel is completely ple completely normal and so many of us go through it so thanks for joining me and uh, i'll see you again in the next video bye for now